leading this team in just about every category. Points, rebounds, and assists. And a three will fall. We talked about Delisha Washington leaving with an apparent injury, hit the floor hard in the first couple seconds of the game. There's Nunu Bradford, who has just moved over into the point guard spot a couple of weeks ago. So something's going to give here today. Bradford looking for the lob into Robinson. Bradford gets it back, launches a three and connects. Hedging out front. Carol Miller now in the corner, puts up a floater, and she connects. Carol Miller, the six foot junior out of Alexandria, Virginia, who had 28 points in the loss to Louisville. That three from the freshman, Matty Ott, is no good. And numbers for Virginia. Can they capitalize? Valaday splits a couple and puts it up and in with the left. Well, Clemson gave up 28 points in transition against Louisville, so they've got to do a better job today. Amandine Twal for three. And Virginia takes a 9-8 to eight lead. It's a shot, but they just haven't hit them. Twal shot off the mark. McLean is right there to put it back up and in. Kind of Dale to her right. Here's Carol Miller driving baseline. Bradford was looking for the charge, but Miller avoided it in midair. Two seconds left. Kiana Gaines in the paint, puts it up and in. So a nice little stretch in the last 30-plus seconds. Gets it back in the corner for three and connects Anna Hank. That's her second three. And was just tripped up. About 30 seconds ago, had to head to the bench. Leah Parker, offensive board. Back up, gets it again, and this time it'll fall for Leah Parker. In, in fits and bunches in terms of their offense. Dale for three, and McKenna Dale. And a huge, huge block was set there by Eno Inyang, but uh, turnover. Valade will try for three and knock it down. Well, they've actually switched it up a couple times. That last time it was player to player defense, so that's what Clemson is struggling with as well. Amadine Twa with the left hand rolls it in. Yeah, that's a good shot. They're just, just not falling for them. They're only shooting 23% uh, from three point range. Robinson open in the open floor and an easy two to get Clemson to 20. And Oinyang, good position in the paint, up and in. And that's what you want to see, right, Helen? Yeah. Here's Aaliyah Parker on Inyang with the left hand. Good battle there. Points in the paint. Bradford wide open for three, 0 for the last six. But the offensive rebound for Inyang won't go. Now again gets fouled and the basket. Good ball movement there, even on the missed shot, though. Pursuing the offensive rebound and sticking with it and scoring with the contact and getting an opportunity for an and one. Valaday dumps down to Aaliyah Parker, who had something in her hand and had to throw it away. <laughs> <laughs> and at the, at the buzzer. Acrobatic play. She had something in her hand, threw it away, got the ball. More acclimated and, and more involved in a game which she's really only playing in her fourth game in uniform for Virginia. Well, most of her involvement, as you see the layup there and out of bounds, is going to be on the defensive end. And a Clemson team with a lot of talent. Delisha Washington limiting her to just a couple of points. Don't want to let her get going, though, because that could be dangerous. Valaday into McLean. Guarded closely and somehow was able to muscle that shot up and in. Entered the transfer portal at the end of the fall semester in 2021. Was granted a waiver by the NCAA to play immediately. And our Inyang continues what has been a really strong afternoon for her. Six points now. And as the old saying goes, and work for McLean there. Inyang. Wow. Yeah, see, there you go. They're isolating her one-on-one -on -one against that zone, and she is coming through for them. Valaday off a tough screen there. And oh, she's wow. strong going to the basket. A 10-point lead for Virginia. At three in and out from the freshman, Matty Ott. Carol Miller looking to push. Amandine Twa finds a lane and lays it up and in. And you struggle as a coach whether or not to address it as well. Right. 
Well, they've left the door open and given Delisha Washington and Clemson some opportunities to come back. Yeah, Lisa Cunane for NC State is, you, you can't guard her one-on-one, -on -one. just have to figure it out. And finally, they get the ball into Amari Robinson. That's only her fifth point today. Leah Parker brought it down, but Bradford knocked it out of her hands. Bradford, with the hesitation, pulls up from the elbow and connects. And she has such a sweet pull up at mid-range off that last dribble. And a Hank open for three and knocks it down. And that's what she's good at. You saw both defenders in that zone at the top. Okay, Virginia, who do you go to here with Omnidine Trois out? Dale hesitated there because she thought someone was going to come. Clemson has been right there a couple of times to bring this thing really close and even take a lead. And a friendly roll on the road for... It might not always be Delisha Washington's night, but she'll find her way to get double figures. Nice step through for McLean. Long three, Washington! Just enough room to get that three-pointer off. It's Alicia Washington. They also got four fouls on Lawson and Amandine Trois for Virginia. And the floater will fall for Washington. We said watch out once she gets on a roll. In the corner, Carol Miller looking into Parker. It was tipped. Parker somehow got it. McLean with the follow. Minute 35 to go. This time they stop her from going right, but she'll pop for three. And nylon for Washington, who's got 21 points. And Clemson with a three-point lead. Can UVA answer? They turn it over. Nunu Bradford in the open floor, up and in for two. You gotta go quick here. Quick hitter, smart for Clemson to trap there. She needs a release valve. Great defense from Clemson. Carol Miller hustling for it. And a turnover there as Mir McLean ends up with it. 36 seconds left to go in the game. Let's score quickly here so you can set up your defense. Here's Valade on the drive, the left hand layup, no good. McLean on the follow gets fouled, so she will shoot two. A few more. One for two at the line, but an offensive rebound. Valade brings it in. Bounce pass down to McLean in the paint, up and in for two. And Virginia now is within two. And a huge spot for the freshman, Maddie Ott, at the free throw line. And she has been great all year, 82%. Yeah, Virginia's going to look at those free throws, but it yeah. is not just the free throws. Two-possession game. Virginia's got to score quick. The three from Lawson is no good. Clarkson with the rebound, puts it up and in. It's a big free throw there. And makes both. And that'll do it. So Clemson holds on and a, mounts a huge comeback in the third and fourth quarters.